<laughs> Hello and welcome and to the very thoughtful podcast with me, Amanda Koopa. Amanda Koopa. I'm wearing a ponytail. I angled it down. I feel like this is like in the way, but then I look up and I'm like, oh no, it's not. It's not at all. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh, that was peaky. This way. I gotta. Hello and welcome to the very 42nd episode of Thoughtful Haya Chapter 2 with, <laughs> <laughs> with Megan. Crawford. Hi guys. He- Meg Han. Meg Han. <laughs> Stop. Just, that's good. <laughs> you don't, I don't need to say your name no. ten more times in the same way, but you different. don't need to like make everybody make it aware that there's an H in my name. That's fine. It's silent. <laughs> <laughs> but it bothers me when people spell it wrong. No, what bothers me is when people address me by my name. Like if someone like sends me a Snapchat and they'll be like, Hey Megan. M E G A N. It's like my name spelt in my Snapchat name, but you still spelt it wrong. Yeah. Like spelling a girl's name wrong is fuck off. Is is not funny. It's not cool. I never have to deal with that though, because nobody can spell my name wrong unless they're dumb. Yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to describe what just happened before we started this? <clears throat> Like, which which disaster? <laughs> All of them! <laughs> the soaking of my costume. The I actually <laughs> forgot about that, even though it was literally, like, less than a minute ago. Uh, yeah, my mannequin fell over <laughs> and soaked the thing that she has to try on. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, ay, 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 ay. And then, and then as I was turning on the ring light, the lamp fell down and crashed all <laughs> over the floor. <laughs> I have to deal with that after, I suppose, but. It's a good day. It's a good day, but it's that's how day. we roll at Thoughtful, at the Thoughtful <laughs> Studio, <laughs> by the seat of our pants. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, oh, where's my phone? I got it, we got it, we got it, we have an agenda. <laughs> Do we want to talk about the weekend we didn't get to talk about? Our Calgary adventures? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Um, how was Calgary? Megan. Megan. <laughs> I can't <laughs> help it. <laughs> Calgary was great. Calgary is, like, one of my favorite places to Me go. Too. Like, I love that city. Like, I love that city. I love Vancouver. Just anywhere that's... Anywhere that's not here. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Just love going there. Anywhere I can unapologetically be myself. I know. I feel like, why do we have to apologize for being ourselves mm-hmm. in Lloydminster? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm so weird. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love Calgary. Cal- the, the comedy show is good, though. We got our picture with Brian Callen. We did. And he was, was super nice. He was so nice. Yeah. He actually like stuck around and took pictures with all of the people that went to his show, which mm-hmm. is super rare. Mm-hmm. He's a nice, nice guy. Nice, nice fella, that guy. Nice fella. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 and then what else did we do? We went shopping. We went shopping a lot. But we didn't really buy much, huh? Nah. <laughs> do we ever buy much? <laughs> <laughs> We're window shoppers. I love window shopping, though. Yeah. I like making fun of what's cool, like, in the store. I honestly think, though, too, like, it has a lot to do, like, I just, I hate trying on clothes. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, Mm -hmm. I hate having to get undressed Mm -hmm. and tie up your shoes. It's the shoes. Like, I just hate taking (laughs) my shoes on and off. Like, if you don't have easy on, easy (laughs) off shoes, it's just like... Fuck. Uh, kill me. Uh. Kill me. I'm not taking off these shoes again. <laughs> this not pant, worth it. You know not what? Yeah. It. If you weren't there with the size six when the size four didn't fit me and I put my shoes back on, I'm not trying them on again and you're not getting a sale. I'm Game sorry. over. I know. I also, I, I, you know what we should try? And, uh, you'd have to be really rich, but like we should... There should be a night in the mall, like a ladies' night, where all the ladies can just strip down at the door, 
Mm-hmm. Walk around in our mm-hmm. underwear and socks and just try on clothes as we see fit, hygienically and safely and respectfully, but like easily, yeah. easily, because that's why we're deterred is because it's inconvenient, mildly inconvenient. It's inconvenient, but then also there's the other aspect where like people don't do their jobs. Yeah. Like yeah. you walk into a store. And, like, example, it was here in Lloyd, but we went into oh, a shoe yeah. store. <laughs> Fuck those people. Fuck Ugh. those motherfuckers. Oh, Yeah. So if you work in a shoe store, you got one job. One job. One job. One job. Would you like me to find you a size? Like... Yeah, how many... How are the... How are... What are the odds when you pull something off the shelf and, oh, this is gonna fit me. There's only one and it's gonna fit me. Like, I ain't fucking Cinderella, man. Like, I, come on. I, I know. Like, how many times did we, you the first time, physically pick Picked up the up, shoe, looked at you it, know, rotate it, you know, <laughs> fucking put it down, pick, you know, pick wa- it back up again, like walk to the other side of the room and come back and pick up the same <laughs> shoe and look at them <laughs> and then look back. They not not paying attention to us. Three girls, three, three fucking girls, fucking that day. girls working. Yeah. Dude, and there was nobody else in the store. No, we were the only ones. And I'm too stubborn to, like, take it to the desk because I'm like, this is your job. Yeah. Like, this is your... If I really wanted, if it was something I was like, oh, that's perfect, I would go over. I but still wouldn't. No, I, I would. I probably would say it's just something rude. Well, I walked out and I was like, guess you're not selling any shoes today. <laughs> <laughs> you're so salty. I, I just feel so... Uh, ah, just I know. Customer like, service has just, I know, like... I know, I know. Downhill, like... Yeah. I've twice not bought those vans or vans chucks because chucks. fucking yeah nobody wants nobody to sell help. anything. So like. we went in a second time a week later and there's one girl working and I literally just picked up the shoes <laughs> again and again like I want these but they're not gonna help me. <laughs> I'm not going to get them. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Like, <laughs> like what do I have to do? It's like trying to get a guy's attention and you're literally like putting it out there and he's just like, huh? She doesn't really like me. <laughs> Excuse me? I love you. I'm on all fours with my ass in the air. Like, what more do you want me to do? Uh, Might as well wear a shirt with your name on it. My God. Uh, 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 okay. And and uh, uh, also about shoe stores. Why the fuck doesn't sh- Foot Locker sell shoelaces? Why doesn't any shoe store sell shoelaces? Like, None. what? None. It, yeah, that's very frustrating for me. Like, yeah, so I have a pair of chucks and my dog chewed off half of the shoelace. <laughs> so I wear them a little ghetto. One's tied and one has knots tied in the shoelaces because they're too short to tie now. Yeah. So I'm walking around to all these different shoe stores looking for a pair of laces for my freaking shoes and nobody has them. Like, guess I'll just get a new pair? Like, is that a thing now? Like, is that how disposable we are now? Like, I guess you have to walk all the way into a Walmart and find an employee that might know where to find shoe <laughs> might. laces. Because guess what? They don't know where they are <laughs> because they're not with the shoes. They're on an end cap down in grocery. Like, it's like, why? You know what, though? Maybe that's the shoe company's way of being like, fucking just buy new shoes. <laughs> Maybe that's Adidas being like, I'm sorry, you can't buy laces even though they come in every fucking shoe we sell, but you can't buy the laces separate. It's like buying an iPhone battery or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, remember back in the day when you used to, like, color coordinate your shoelaces and mm-hmm. make checkers or, and yeah, designs? Or, yeah, or like, yeah, time different, like, into a star or, yeah. like, or like a X's or... or like, what if uh, I want to do that, man? Or straight like, lace? I always tie my chucks in straight lace because it just, to me, looks cooler. Yeah. I don't like the crisscross. Hopefully, crossing my legs like this won't won't uh, Okay, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. Yeah, so fucking sell shoe lock, shoelaces, shoe lock, shoe locker, foot locker, foot locker or <laughs> any shoe store for that matter. Like, come on. Um. So but the other thing on here, it says white pants size extravaganza. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Those are our white pants for our outfits we wore to Brian Callen. White, but why did I write white pants size extravaganza? Because we went into stitches, so we're on a mission. White oh, high-rise oh, pants. Oh, 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 oh. And like, how many stores did we go to? All of them. All, all of the of stores we in Lloyd Minster. All over Lloyd Minster, which, like, it's not like Lloyd's that huge, but still. But there was, we like, were on a mission. stores. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that. like, I had to take off my goddamn shoes <laughs> so many multiple times. times. So many times. So... <laughs> 
<clears throat> uh, we have a store, or I guess, is all the stitches closing now, or just... Yeah. Yeah, so... I, well, no, maybe just Lloyd. Well, well whatever. Our stitches in Lloyd, not sure if it's a nationwide thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just Our it's stitches Lloyd. is closing because we got an Urban Planet. Um, so we go in there, and they have, like, a everything's $10 sale, and lo and behold, we find two pairs of white pants... Two Only two pairs that are left, and we couldn't try them on in the store because they weren't allowing any any change rooms. Yeah. So we're like, uh, I think these will work. And yeah. lo and behold, they, they did. Fit. They I fit like a goddamn glove. Yeah. Love. <laughs> My, what was mine? Mine was a size seven, and yours was like a three. A three? Yeah. Or so two pairs of pants left. One. One big and one small, <laughs> and exactly our fucking size. And yeah. they they fit us good. I feel. I, yeah. I thought we looked. Oh, yeah. I thought we looked pretty okay. Oh, that, yeah. That day. Um. Yeah. So it was great. Fucking. Yeah. Killing it. That's our, that is that's like a like, definition of killing it. That is a definition. That's the definition of like fate. Like we like like the Lord or whoever knew we needed these white pants. Mm-hmm. And and we got and we got him we got him, and it was lit, it was yep. fucking lit. Um, okay, next mission <laughs> accomplished on that one. Like, uh, bananas and pajamas. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had my. I know we should have wore those. Well, this is kind of last minute, but yeah, I know. It was so yeah. We were real life bananas and pajamas. Bananas and pajamas <laughs> coming down the stairs. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, I felt a little goofy in the mall when people kept looking at us like we were poor. Yeah, there was like you you had like like, uh, you go girl looks like oh you guys are the best that's so awesome and then there was like the what's wrong with you and and it's funny because I'm so like ew don't wear pajamas in Walmart like no (laughs) like don't fucking wear pajamas in public you gross but like. I thought we so were fun. I, yeah, it was like we we're on a road trip, man. We just got to they Calgary. They were so soft. Like I just wanted to just touch myself. I know, the whole time. I know. The whole time I'm driving, I was just like <laughs> rubbing my legs because I was so soft. <laughs> and yeah, and I just feel, I just feel like, why do I feel judged? You know, why do I care? I See, mean, but like when we were in Calgary, though, like I didn't really care. Like yeah. I was at first, I was like. Uh, are we actually gonna go in here in these pajamas? And then it was just like, eh, fuck it, yeah, let's do it. That's true. But I was super sick last week, missed a couple days of work, and I had to go into town to get something to eat. And, oh yeah. And I was like in my bananas and pajamas PJs, and I was like, do I change? Like, yeah. This feels weird going to Lloyd in these. And then eventually I was like, uh. I'm sick. Who cares? Yeah. But yeah, as soon as I walked in to pick up my food, everybody was just like, uh-huh. who are you? What uh-huh. do you wh- why are you wearing those? Like, yeah. Fuck I think, off. Yeah, I think it's because we know people here. And if, like, if I saw, like, someone we worked with out and I was in my pajamas, I wouldn't really care. But if I saw someone, like, a, like a customer, oh, you know, yeah. a client, it, it would be like, uh, hey. But you know what? If you're sick, I feel like that's a good cover up. Like, I'm sick, man. Oh, I'm yeah. in my pajamas. You could tell I was sick. There was no, yeah, no covering that one up. I just want to point out too that Janine got sick, Megan got sick, I didn't get sick. <laughs> knock on yeah, wood. Yeah, you better be knocking <laughs> on that wood. Yes. Oh, <laughs> look, I, I, my immune system is that of a, a god. Yeah, that's god what ass. I was saying until I got sick. Yeah, well, look at me now. Yeah, well, when you're fucking dying, I ain't gonna feel sorry for you. Yeah. I, I deserve that at this point, but uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> just all, all these notes for us. <laughs> when girls say ow for no reason. <laughs> Why do we do that? <laughs> like, I swear to God, like, you go to bend over to pick something up and you're like, ow. I'm pretty sure that if we rewinded this, I probably said ow as I was crossing my legs. And it didn't hurt at all, but <laughs> it's like, oh. Ow. <laughs> Just let me grab my glasses. Ow. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why we do it. Mm-mm. But we do. And it's weird. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt. We're never in pain. You know. Maybe we think it's going to hurt. 
I, yeah, I have no idea, like, why. Maybe it's what? a defense mechanism. <laughs> yeah. I'm frail and fragile. Ow, don't hurt me. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Let me just put my headphones on. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, no, yeah. I don't know why I just said ow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, dumb. Oh, I don't know if we should talk about this. What? About our, our search. When we were searching in Calgary for a specific reason. Oh. Can we talk about that? Baby daddy search. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so, Oh, actually, I wanted to also just note, apparently I was banned from Tinder. Now, I don't know <laughs> why, because uh, I've never met up with anyone from Tinder. I have went on Tinder, I add my little bio, I pick the perfect pictures, I do some swiping, a mm. bunch of people say hello to me, I get scared, and I delete it. That's how it goes. So maybe somebody reported me for, like, never Tindering. I don't know. Why would I have gotten banned? I still am... I don't know. How do you know. get banned from Tinder? Like, I feel like a prostitute would get banned from <laughs> Tinder. But I didn't. I didn't, I didn't prostitute I myself, didn't. damn it! But now I'm thinking about it because now there's ideas in my head. Um, but anyways, yeah, we downloaded Tinder to, um, to find for... someone that shouldn't be on there. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't honestly know, like, what my friend was thinking. Like, I don't talk to her much. And she just seen that we were in Calgary and was like, do you have Tinder? I was like, No. And she's like, oh, well, can you get it? <laughs> and we're I like, guess. We're why? Like, well, yeah. It's like, my friend's baby daddy is in Calgary. We think he's on Tinder. I'm like, you realize, like, that's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, right? We like, tried, how many though. people are in Calgary? We uh, swiped hard. We swiped so much. We were looking for a specific name with a specific age. So we're like, nope, 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 nope. Hey, that's kind of cute. Yeah, that was cute. No, 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 no. And then, and then we got, we ended up getting invited to some kind of Caribbean party by some big scary dude. Yeah, I don't remember why we swiped yes on him, but. I just don't know, like, how people meet up with people from Tinder. I know. Like, it so, seems so dirty. Like, it seems so dirty and, like, but, like, I get it, maybe. Like, I guess it's so different than, like, I guess going to the club and meeting somebody. But, like, you meet someone off Tinder and you've never met them before and, like, you have the intentions to hook up. Like, what if you get there and, like, he's gross or like creepy yeah, or it's it's yeah it's hard to gauge, gauge somebody yeah. in real life over yeah and like that's the thing is like you can't like you can't even try to you know talk to anyone on there because everyone's on there for the same thing except us we were looking specifically to catch someone doing something they shouldn't be doing and i've actually recently found that a lot of people do that a lot of people download it sign up and just swipe looking for their wives like oh man yeah. when i when i downloaded tinder for the first time like i couldn't believe how many like people that i saw on there that were either married or in relationships or just yeah. shouldn't be on there period i was like are you freaking kidding me mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yuck yeah it's like yuck. they don't they like what are you what are you doing what are you doing because yeah. Uh, we used to actually know somebody, well, I used to know somebody who would come, like, she was on Tinder all the time, just swiping, swiping, and uh, so if anybody new was on there, she would get notifications, because she had the premium Tinder. She oh, paid oh. for that Tinder. She was getting it, I guess. That bitch is a swiping queen. Yeah, she, was, <laughs> she, she used Tinder the way that people say they use it. <laughs> um but she would get new notifications. There are new matches or new new singles in your area. And she'd be like, oh. And it would be like someone's husband. Oh. So then she would screenshot it and send it to Dirty. everybody. And I was like, stop it. Like, like, okay, what are you, some kind of justice fucking queen? Like, you don't need to be ratting people out. Like, mm. as bad as it is. And if you know the person, fine. But if you don't know them and you, know, you think, oh, that guy's married. I'm going to send this to all these people. Like... What are you doing? It's none of your business. Stay out of it. I don't know. I, I struggle with that because as wrong as I think it is, I don't think it's your business if you're not personally connected to that person in some way. No, you know? like it irritates me when people exploit things like that yeah. on social media. It can, And it makes you look kind of like a little asshole too. Like, mm. fuck off. Like, yeah. mind like, your own business. Like, if it's not directly affecting you, like if it's 
if it's not like your close friend or something, mm-hmm. like just yeah, let you don't it know. be. Let you it be, man. Yeah. I know a girl who's on Tinder for the sole purpose of finding a third party for their marriage. They like to swing around, I suppose. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so somebody sent somebody knew that I had known her and was like, Hey, oh my god, isn't she ma-? and I'm like, Yeah. And but that's their but jam. But that's none of your fucking business. Like, I, I didn't well, know what to I guess say. you can't say that's their jam, but just... Yeah. I didn't know what to say because, like, how do you... How but do you... I guess if you're going to go on, like, a super, like, public platform like Tinder, people are going to see and people are going are gonna to talk. True, true. So I guess, like, you're, you're not really hiding it that much, like... Yeah, I, I just, don't know. Yeah, just stay out of it. You don't know what kind of mind your business. You don't it, know what kind of freaky fucking bedroom games they're playing. Yeah, like, there are literally couples with profiles, and it's like good for fucking them. Like I have no problem with that. I love open relationships. They seem to work better. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just fucking mind your own business. How about yeah? Because, like, in my in my situation, how do I say, oh, yeah, they're swingers. It's okay. Or do I, oh, no. Like, I don't know. What, I don't know how to react in that situation. I think I just didn't respond. But. It's tough because, yeah, like I said, like, if you're putting it on social media, you're putting it out there. But it's still just mind your business. I don't yeah. know. Like, it's people, it's, just, it's petty. It's super petty, like. I don't know. It's just something to gossip about for people. Exactly. Like, just shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> that's all people want. People want gossip fodder. They want to talk about other people because their lives maybe are boring or sad or fucking whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, look at me, man. I can't even post a picture on Instagram anymore. People report it and it gets taken <laughs> down. <laughs> Why won't anybody let me be naked? I just want to be <laughs> sexy. I just want to be cute. Uh, it's terrible but whatever people are salty as fuck you know oh yeah salty 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 how do you deal with salty bitches you know like what do you do no i don't condone the violence but that's you i respect that don't hurt me um (laughs) (laughs) um, i don't know i don't know you can't because people like that are so close-minded that yeah. They don't think they're doing anything wrong anyway. I just, I want, I, I, I want so much to enlighten those people to the way the world really works, you know? Mm. Like, I want to be like, hey. well, There's so many people that are into that kind of stuff that you would have no idea. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know, and especially in this day and age, like, it's just becoming more and more common. Mm-hmm. We're finding that traditional Catholic marriages aren't working. <laughs> like, the statistics are, you mm. know, proving that, obviously. But I don't know. It's... I don't know. Everybody's into what they're into, and mm-hmm. everybody's entitled to be into whatever they want to be into. Yeah, do whatever you want. Just fucking live your life and mind your business. <laughs> yeah. Live your life, mind your business, and have some fucking respect. Yeah. That's a big thing. It's mm-hmm. respect for people these days. Mm-hmm. They don't fucking... <gasps> <laughs> Nobody respects anything. No. No, nothing's sacred anymore. Oh, we gotta do a... There we go. And mm-hmm. there we go. And we're, we're back. back after that super long ad break. Actually, speaking of ad break, me I got some new MeUndies because I subscribe. I have a monthly subscription. And they gave me stickers. And it's, it says, it's cute. It says, stickers are awesome and so are you. Enjoy. And like, I don't know, but I think this is an invitation that they want to sponsor me. <gasps> it's not at all, but putting it out there. Putting it out there. Hey, mm-hmm. what you put out in the world's what you get back. I just like Hopefully. this one that says smooth jazz for some reason. What's that other one say? You're, you're such, such a, a softie. softie. I love, have you tried me undies? No, you're supposed to order me that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's my fault you haven't tried me undies. Okay, yeah. I'll get you some. I'll get okay. you a value pack. I just want that bra. The bralette? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cute. Com- that's a- I wear that on Saturdays. When I want my tits to be free, but together. But I, <laughs> I want them to be free, but, like, on me. You know what I mean? Like, I want them to be in the world, but, like, still have a life jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gotta make sure to look after. Oh, yeah. Tits, you know? Mm. So offensive they are. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> oh, well. Apparently. Oh, well. I'm, I'm sitting on a stool. I put her in the captain's chair. 
Because <laughs> that's how I treat my guests. She's the captain of this ship. What do you want to talk about, Megan? That's all for notes. Do we, did we want to talk about Chris Bell and how cool he was or no? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we don't have a choice now. Yeah, Chris Bell. Cool. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. <laughs> either i was gonna say his son is really cute i was gonna say cool and then cute came out and then you I got like, scared but he is cute like he's nice like he's cute in his niceness yeah. like he's he seems nice yeah 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 i, I just, just want him to cook for me because he keeps posting on his instagram food and i'm like mm. well that barbie though barbie oh yeah he's always got like asparagus and oh steak barbecue and nice chickens on the you barbie? went to australian there for I a did. second i did i <laughs> did the barbie yeah 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 no but he was nice it he was, was funny. so nice like i just personally i'm not attracted to him whatsoever based on the fact that he's shorter than me mm. and if there's a guy that is shorter than me and i'm wearing f- sneakers was i wearing sneakers yeah we were, yeah, wearing, we were sneakers. wearing sneakers uh if a guy is shorter than me and i'm wearing sneakers i'm sorry but I just look right over him. Like, I just, yeah. I just, he's here and I'm just like, who else? Yeah. That's so rude to say, but, and unfortunately, that's my attraction law and I'm not sorry for it. So, no. Yeah. You like what you like and you don't what you don't. That's right. <laughs> but he was a nice guy. Really so nice. Guy. nice. Yeah. yeah. I watched a bunch of his videos and I want to, I think that we should use him professionally for, mm-hmm. for a company that we may or may not work for. Um, so we'll get in touch eventually with that, but he's just so creative, like, and so I feel creative like... So creative, and like, yeah, yeah we good need, ideas. Yeah, we need something different, mm-hmm. you know, for an ad, you know, so. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. He's also a comedian. He's a comedian, yeah, you should mm-hmm. follow him on Instagram. What's his Instagram? I'll look it up real quick. Yeah. And he played where? Uh, you Hillmond. Saw him, yeah, Hillmond. Yeah, he played in Hillmond. Yeah. Real funny guy. Yeah. Chris... K R I S underscore L A B E L L E. Follow. Chris underscore LaBelle. He's got lots of funny videos. And he's constantly posting funny shit on his yeah. stories. Yeah. And-, and he's gangster. Like, look at this oh, yeah. outfit. Um, I could I don't know if it, this will show up, but that's a cool outfit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He's kind so, of got, like, cool style. Like, he's just, he like, does, one of those yeah. people will, that you just kind of want to hang out with. And he knows a lot of people. And, like... Yeah. He seems worldly. Yeah. Like, yeah. he gets along with And others. I just... He was just so nice and respectful. Yes. Like, you don't... Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's this area where we're from, but we don't... I don't meet a lot of guys that are just nice. Mm-hmm. They're, they're just, like... <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> oh, you got big or, titties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a big truck. <laughs> well, what else you got? Uh, Nothing. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, what do you like to do? Drink beer. Oh, <laughs> what else? Nothing. <laughs> like, uh, I can't, uh, I, I just can't get along with the guys here. I can't. What else you like? I've been Putting trying. stupid slogans on my truck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my truck says, ride her till I die. <laughs> What? Okay. Right. Ooh. Dodge the, the father, oh. ram the daughter. <laughs> no. Come on. No. Or what's that? A f- <gasps> stupid one. Too high for fat thighs. Like what? Have you not seen that one? No, uh. but I'm offended. I have very thick thighs, and that is very rude. So <laughs> gross. Uh, like, no. What are you thinking? The one that bothers me the most in town is there's a truck. It's it's I don't I think it's a Silverado actually. So sorry, but uh, one side like the back window it's all black. It's tinted and it says my king over the drivers and my queen, my king, my queen. Now who in this situation is my? Is it the trucks king and queen? Know what I mean? <laughs> like if you had my queen on one side, then obviously the guy driving the truck loves his queen and put my queen, whatever. But my king and my queen, who's my who's who's me in this in this scenario? What? The truck owns them. That's what I came to the... I see it every day. And I think Me too? To, and I think, yeah, I've never seen it's this. It's near where truck. I live. Yeah. Uh, I always fuck. see it. And I'm just like, who's the fucking person? Like, who? I don't know. I don't know. I just... It's, I feel like as soon as you put a fucking decal on your truck like that, you're the douche. Like, you're just... You're a douche. Yeah. 
I uh, I had a Decal, my favorite Decal. Actually, I drove a 2012 Ford Fiesta, and I had a I Believe in Harvey Dent bumper sticker <laughs> because <laughs> right. because it was 2012 when The Dark Knight came out, so it was I Believe in Harvey Dent 2012, yeah. so, and it was the year of my car, so it just... That was my it favorite. It worked, but yeah. like these stupid like saying slogans. Or when you like, get that's your, what when people get their last name. Oh, on the back like, of their why? truck. Yeah. Come on, man. Why do you want everyone to know who just cut them off? That's my thing. Like I don't want. You know, I can be an aggressive driver at times, and I don't want people to <laughs> recognize my bumper sticker and be like, "This bitch," <laughs> and fucking chase me. So oh, shit. yeah, I, I get road ragey. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. You don't. <laughs> I don't really, like, I'm so laid back. Can we talk about how laid back you are when you're in a parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking walk a mile. I don't give a shit. Makes me walk several kilometers to get to each freaking destination. I don't like, want door dings on my truck, man. Yeah, just, like, fucking. Also, just, just <laughs> do it. <laughs> I don't know. No. Oh my god. No. no. I will forever park out in left field. <laughs> you know, and I don't mind it's good for my, you know, cardio, I suppose, to have to jog all the way to the mall every time we go together, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It's all good. Sorry. I just really had to do this. It's very important. Um Okay. Who's your favorite Mario character? Oh, Princess Peach, duh, 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 duh. That's who I'm being. I know, I know, but I'm being Toad, and he's on my favorite. My favorite is Bowser. Yeah, but you've been Bowser before. I know. Toadette's pretty cute. Toadette's the cutest. Yeah. Remember when you were Toadette? Yeah, I was Toadette once. That's and I cute. was Princess Peach uh-huh. with that fucking slut Daisy. <laughs> What a whore. What a fucking whore, man. That fucking Like, bitch. it's one thing to sleep with a girl's fucking boyfriend, but it's a whole nother thing to pretend to be friends with her and act like it's not happening. Like, get out of here. Yeah. If you're gonna fucking do that, do Rude, it away from me. bitch. Why you gotta look me in the face and say, you're my best friend? Bitch, you're never my friend. <laughs> I will cut you if I ever see you. <laughs> oh, she knows. Oh. Hey, no threats, man. No, no violent threats. She didn't mean that. Anything that's said by Megan Crawford on the Thoughtful Podcast is not explicitly the views of Amanda Koopa. <laughs> JK. Are you doing Are you doing a th- knife thing? Can I do it with this pin? Fuck yourself. <laughs> I thought you trusted me, and it's evident that... I don't trust myself doing this. Oh. You do it to yourself. Okay. Ready? Ew. Ready? No. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Look at how good I am! Look at how good I am, though! I'm fucking a ninja. I'm so scared now. <laughs> I'm sweating. Like, I instantly started sweating as soon as I started doing it, but I knew I had committed and I knew I couldn't stop, so. Mm. You know. So, we're going to be back in Calgary this weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> the bougie hotel life. I'm such a fucking woo girl. Ugh. Yeah, I'm excited. Staying at the pet. Oh. Probably shouldn't stay. We're staying at uh, the Ivanhoe. The Ivanhoe. <laughs> the Ivanhoe Hotel downtown. Real scuzzy. Real scuzzy. Where yeah. is the Ivanhoe? Is that in North Balford? Uh, no. Is that a Saskatoon one? I don't know. I don't know either. I just no. We have an Ivanhoe here. Isn't that that like super skizzy one where like? No, that's the Capri. No, beside uh, Boston Pizza. That is a, is it an really? Ivanhoe? Yeah, oh. I've heard so many, like, dang stories about that place. Me too, like, yeah. Freaking horrible. When I was living with one of my cousins, her boyfriend, the reason I didn't live with my cousin anymore was because her boyfriend was fucking running drugs out of that hotel and then the other one across town. So whenever cops would start circling the Ivanhoe, they would go down to the other one across from the um, East 7-Eleven and deal drugs out of that one instead. <laughs> Ew. Drugs, you know? I know, you. People are so absolutely gross. The battery's gonna die on that soon, but I'm gonna be prepared for when it happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah, Calgary's gonna be lit. I just love going there. Because we just can pretend that, like, nobody knows who we are, you know? Yeah, nobody knows who we are. We just do ninja kicks all day. Just fucking we own that city. We own it. If we're in it, oh. we fucking own it. 
own it. And all the good food. Frick, like, I just love going places and eating. eating. Like, oh, me too, oof, man. So good. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, yeah, we gotta eat lots of food. Where mm. are we gonna go? I don't even know. I just wanna go everywhere. I wanna go to Regrub, though. Mm. We didn't go to Regrub last Some time. Some milkshakes. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I could teach you, but I have to charge. Patreon.com slash Amanda Koopa. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty, wow, we're the best. Uh, yeah, yeah. We we are my favorite, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And I mean, um, I just love going to con. I know you don't love con, but like, I love seeing cosplayers and now that i have a real camera i'm gonna be taking pictures of everyone and like it's not that i don't love con like it's just like it's not like i'm not a huge cosplayer but i can really appreciate yeah yeah the yeah. amount of time and effort that people put into those costumes like they're insane i know like it's so crazy it's my favorite i love like seeing a character that i love and just going ah! and then <laughs> oh god i peaked it um but <laughs> But, I, and then I love their reaction of, like, oh, my God, she loves my cosplay. Like, yeah. all of that is my favorite. That whole exchange of just, wow, and, oh, my God, I'm appreciated, and, wow. Like, that's, mm-hmm. ugh. And I hope people like our, our, our costumes that we made. Me, too. I'm yeah. so excited. Me, too. Oh, I just love being sparkly and cute, you know? Pretty. And extra. Yeah. You know? I wish I could just dress in cosplay every day. Like, just go... Like, I wish I could just put on that costume and go to work tomorrow and be like, hey, what's hey. up, guys? This is my outfit today. And sometimes I try to get away with casual cosplays, like that one day when I dressed up like Wednesday Adams, and yeah. I was like, it's Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, okay. <laughs> I got away with that one, but I want to get away with more. <laughs> but, yeah, gotta, gotta keep it profesh. Low-key ninja cosplay. Yeah, low-key ninja cosplay. <laughs> Actually, what happened? Oh, oh, it was a long time ago. There was a story about an East Indian girl who got in lots of trouble for wearing her um, head headdress or whatever it was. Uh, I'm going to use the wrong word, so I'm not going to use the word at all. But she had something on her head for religious reasons, cultural reasons. And then that they told her that it was inappropriate and made her take it off and were really mean to her. So mm-hmm. then for the next 30 days, she secret cosplayed to work because... Her headpiece was in the rule book as as um, not allowed, but all of these other things like purple hair and red hair and 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 mermaid spikes and like she did all this crazy shit and went to work and they couldn't do anything, but she did it all out of spite because of nice. the of, yeah like it was like get it girl get it yeah I always think about that like I want to do that but I don't want to do that because anybody made me mad I just want to do that because that's who I am <laughs> so <laughs> I just want to dress up all the time. <laughs> I told somebody yesterday that cosplay is for people who never grew out of playing dress up. And that's super true. No, oh, 100%. Yeah. Who doesn't love dressing up, though? It's so fun. Even, even like, not even just cosplay, but, like, even just, like, putting on a fancy dress, you know, to yeah. go out, you know. Which we're going to do in Calgary. Ooh, ooh. I can't help it. Every time There's, we... like, nowhere to dress up in Lloyd to, like, no, to go out, though. No. Like, it's... Except work. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, I like but... dressing up for work. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Like, where would you even... Because anywhere you go in Lloyd, you're going to run into guys in coveralls, you know? There's no dress code in Lloyd Minster. You can go anywhere in pajamas. Not really, though. Yeah, so... And people do, because they don't care about themselves. And it's almost like, like, caring about yourself here is, like looked down upon you know which it's so unattractive to me like I am so much more attracted to somebody that's like dresses sharp Mm -hmm. and puts an effort into how they look yeah and not that I'm like well I am slightly shallow I guess (laughs) standards but like if you don't have like a standard for yourself Mm -hmm. like how do you expect anybody else to like yeah Exactly. It's like going to a job interview or going anywhere. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it's difficult because we just talked about the fact that we wore pajamas out in public, but I still think, you know, put on some clean jeans. It's disgusting how much guys wear dirty, like, ketchup, mustard on this side, and then dirt on the fucking ankles. Like, wash your clothes, man. Mm. It bothers me. It really bothers me. 
Yeah. I don't know why I bother. Is that shallow that that bothers me? No, wash your goddamn clothes. <laughs> like, are you, are you raised in a barn? It also drives me crazy when people wear ripped clothes. Like, I, I when you can, like, see... You can tell the difference from fashion rip to, oops, I caught my shirt on the <laughs> hanger and I didn't have time to pick a different one because they're all dirty. Like, there's a fucking difference. Uh, there's hillbilly rips and then there's, like, yeah. nice rips. Actually, Chris D'Elia always gets away with wearing that one white shirt that has, like, the collars there, but then it's all ripped from, like, here to here. Oh. And it just, it just looks gross. Like, what are you doing? You look... Stop. 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 And you know he knows Stop. what... His clothes are just, like, he's got such an awkward body, I find. Like, oh, it's shit. so... Yeah, I totally agree. Sorry, just, you're just gonna have to keep talking as I change the battery. It's just, his body's so long. I know. It's, it's, it's And then he it's... wears, like, those super long shirts, and that makes it look even, like, yeah. long. I don't know. I feel like somebody should dress him for his body. Like, he, nobody told him. How to dress in his life. Or somebody must have. I mean, look at how famous he is. Oh. That's a delete. What? What happened? Oh, that Snapchat that added me earlier. Mm hmm It's like some kind of, like, rate me bullshit. Like, Ooh. I don't understand. I don't... How do I delete people on here? Ooh. There we go. More. Remove friend. Remove. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, bye. All right, guys. Just having a technical difficulty, but you'll still hear the audio, so it's all good. It's all good. It's good. Amanda wasn't prepared. Can't fire me, though, because I'm the only one who works here. <laughs> ah. Um, what was I going to say? How, how often do people add you, though, on Snap that don't know you but just kind of searched you? Does that happen to you a lot? Uh, to be honest, not a whole lot. No? No. I find that, like, accounts will just... But I guess... I talk about stupid fucking Instagram. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> Instagram following. Um, so perverts are always just adding me and just sending me dick pics. And I'm just like, stop it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, I'm so glad nobody can see what's happening right now. Because it's fucking brutal. Uh... Um, do you even use Snapchat anymore? Like, I fucking barely use it. Honestly. No. Remember when it was, like, a thing to, like, always use, like, filters? Yeah. And now I just, like, cannot be bothered. Oh, no. Oh, where are you? There you are. Here. 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 Oh, I there frozen. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got the video back. We're geniuses. Okay. <laughs> it's only a couple Hulk's message smashes. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> I didn't dress for the podcast. <laughs> I wore shorts. My fucking thick thighs are out to Aww, play. I'm still in my work clothes. What's up? What's up? Well, this is half work clothes. I just tied it up to be slutty. Ah, <laughs> slutty. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um. Look at I put highlighter on because I have to put makeup on, obviously, for this. Because you know I didn't wear makeup today, but um, I got highlighter all over my shirt and it won't come off. <laughs> That's cute. Is it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So sparkly. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, Why are we like this? We're such girls. Like, this is. <laughs> And, like, no word of a lie. Like, this is how we are. <laughs> like, yeah. Or, All right. or when we just make random noises, like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I was like, bird calling today, and, I, and you didn't call back. I didn't hear any bird calling. Someone was going up the stairs, and she kept going, Woo! So I would go, Ah! <laughs> And then, and then I started doing it towards your office. <laughs> ah! And you still didn't fucking. I didn't hear you. Oh. It wasn't in my office. Somebody came out of their office and was like, Amanda, stop. And I was like, oh, huh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to call my friend the old fashioned way. <laughs> uh, killing it. Killing it. Now I can't look at my phone for more podcast stuff, but. But oh well, we're going. We got 15 minutes left. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I love though, like that I see you now, like every day. Just it's it's so amazing to me how often we just do this. <laughs> yeah. You know, just a fucking little. That and we always know exactly what we're thinking. The the best was when. I was walking to my office and you're walking past the hallway and we're on one each end of the hallway and we just stopped, looked at each other, did like the worm, like the standing up worm and then just kept walking. <laughs> like, yeah, you were going that way, I was going this way, worm, and then we continued on our separate journeys. Yeah. It was like... Just carrying on. Just like nothing ever happened. Uh, like, no. like, 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 like. Ayo, that was so funny. Oh, I wanted to talk about boys. Um, because, because you know that boys, like, ugh. fucking boys. I, ugh. Ugh. I'm honestly, they like. They scare me. Um, uh, okay, go. Okay, just, like, you ever send a text and then just want to throw your phone across the room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, All the fucking time. Uh, like, it's like, oh. Uh, and, like, I find that when I like someone, I have no idea what to say. You know what I mean? Like, you just you just are like, eh, I'm an idiot, and there's no nothing in my brain other than hi. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, yeah, I, like, you send a text, and you're like, <laughs> and, like, it's fucking there. I, like, how many times do you, like, send a text message, and you're like, the next day, you're like, didn't happen, didn't happen. Just yeah, yeah, never yeah, yeah. going no, to look at that message no, no, in my phone no. again. I just I just get a new phone altogether. No, I don't, but yeah, uh, if, I could, if I could afford to, I would. But, I uh, hate that. I, I hate that cringy moment, especially if you've had, like, a couple drinks, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, hey. Oh, hey. And then all of a sudden you wake up, or when you wake up in the morning and you don't quite remember what you fucking said. Oh, God. And you're like, how bad is it? Yeah. How yeah. bad? Yeah. And you're just like, I don't like you peek anymore, and you're but... just like, ah! And you yeah. close it and you throw your phone down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Or yeah. when it's super bad and you just, you just toss it to your friend and you're just like, <laughs> Can you help check? me, help me. Like, how bad is it? Oh, yeah. Is it bad? Can I look? Or am I going to die? Yeah. Like, did, did he respond? Okay, you respond. Respond, please. Please just respond. Just respond. I don't care what you say. Or how about talking dirty? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. so many more times than not that, like, I'm like, I got to talk dirty to this motherfucker. Here, here, say something. Say something dirty for me. <laughs> and then let me then let me because, bury my head and squeal like a little bit. Yeah, because it's so much easier to talk dirty to someone that you're not... Like, if you were like, talk dirty, I'd be like, fucking fuck me. And fucking, like, all this crazy shit. But as soon as I have to do it to someone that I'm, like, like actually, like, thinking, I'm like... Ew, I can't. Like, <laughs> like what I if just... we actually, like, <sighs> what if something actually ends up happening? Like, yeah. you know? I but don't I know. think, isn't that the end goal? Like, it I is, don't but know. It's so weird. But is it? Yeah. Well, like, why are know. we so weird about that? Like, I don't know. I think most girls are. I, I do, because. And then I'm yeah. always like, what's too dirty? Yeah. Like, like you want to push the boundaries just to see how far you can push them, but, but you, you also don't want wanna... him to think you're a dirty slut, though, <laughs> either. There's, like, a fine line. There like, is a fine line. I'm fun, yeah. but not a whore. Yeah. Like, there's a line, and it's just, like, you want to act like a dirty little slut, but then you're just, like... <laughs> but then, yeah, but then you see them, and it's, like... I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was my friend, actually. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was Patricia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not good. I Sometimes so I just crazy. turn my phone off. And I'm, I'll, I'll, like, send something, and then I'll literally turn my phone off and be like, nope. But then I'll be like, but what if he responds? And then I don't respond, and then he thinks I hate him. <laughs> what if he responds good? And then, and then, uh. then, I, and then I turn it back on, and then, there's, and then there's nothing. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Bye forever. It's hard. It's very literally hard. Bye forever. But and yeah. then like like there's literally like I have messages on my phone where like <laughs> I'm too scared to go back and look I at them. I was like, I'm just gonna pretend that yeah. one didn't happen. Yeah. If I if you accidentally scroll up, you're like, ah! <laughs> if I don't see it, if I don't see it, didn't happen. And yeah. I have like this uncanny ability of like blocking things out of my memory like didn't happen didn't, happen. didn't send it mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 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 and it's funny at the moment you're like yeah full send and yeah, then you're yeah. like jk jk yeah. i'm always like ah fuck it what's the worst could happen oh fuck i just did that <laughs> goodbye phone 
Yeah. Goodbye, life. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, always, world. I'm always caught between YOLO and fuck, why did I do that? Like, yeah. it just can't, like, ah, it's, yeah. It's hard. It's hard. And I don't know how some people do it. Some people are so cool just, like, texting away and having conversations, and I'm just like, eh, what do I say? <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I'm, like, I'm at this, like, weird stage in my life. Like, uh, like I can't even describe how single I want to be. Mm-hmm. And it's not that, it's, like, it's not that, like, I want to talk to a million different guys and I want to be on the prowl or anything like that. Like, mm-hmm. it's just... I don't want any obligations. I don't want anybody to have any expectations of me. I just want to live my life. And for the most part, like, I just want to go home and chill by myself with my dog. Like, Dude. I want to see a human being. Like, I, know. I like, work we were in the public eye all the time. Like, mm-hmm. I'm with people all the time. Like, yeah, I have two jobs, and they're both very people-orientated. So, like... Don't fucking cry when I don't want to hang out with you. I know. That's me too. Like, we didn't, we were supposed to hang out this weekend, and I was just like, man, I got all this gems to do. I'm, I'm cool chilling. And she's like, well, maybe I'll come over later. <laughs> and we didn't hang out because we both just rather just be, be alone. alone. And yeah. people find that so offensive to them. It's like, I don't, it's not you. It's not that I don't want to be around you. I just really enjoy my, my alone own time. My space. Yeah. yeah. And people just take that as, like, oh, she hates me. And it's, like, can you just fucking chill? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. And I'm, like, also at this stage in my life where, like, this is going to sound so weird, but, like, as soon as, like, I feel like somebody likes me, I'm, like, ew. ew. Uh, that's not good. Don't like me. That's but, not good. Like, I don't want you to like know, me. I like, know. Yeah. I but that's know. because you're trying to have this life and, and enjoy your space so you know from experience that as soon as people like you too much, then they're like, hey, 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 hey want to hang out, want to hang out, want to hang out? It's like, I don't want that at all. Like, yeah. if anything, like, I just want a steady, occasional, fuck. <laughs> just gonna put it out gonna there because we're it. all adults. It's just, it's I just forward. want someone that, like, when I want it, I can be like, hey, but I also don't want a community dick. And that seems to be like a fucking unicorn that I'm looking for. Yeah, you got it. Like, I don't want you to... I, you I want you to be available when I am DTF, which... <laughs> a girl's got needs, man. A yeah, fair, needs. fair. But I don't want you to be the community dick. And because, like, that's okay, gross. What, 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 cons- what, like, makes it community to you? Like... Like a guy like that if sleeps he was, with like multiple women and sleeps with like multiple women but what on if, like what a if, weekly basis. You what know? if uh, hypothetically he slept with maybe because because you know speaking from experience, guys usually have a higher sex drive than women, so maybe he needs it a little more than you do. So maybe he slept with two other women and you. Would that be no? Like in what kind of a time frame? I I'm just a very like I don't know. So it can't just, be in the same day fucking clearly okay okay i'm just trying to i'm just trying to build your port like your no like resume or like i just basically i don't know if like anything like even i guess maybe if it was like a week or a couple weeks in between but like i don't know like i'm yeah it's it's funner when there's no strings attached and when there's no feelings like as soon as you catch feels it's just like fuck next like (laughs) <laughs> yeah well, no I feel you I feel like yeah but like there's but yeah like so guys might have a higher sex drive but who's to say that I don't have a high sex drive that's like true. maybe that's I just true. want you to come over wham ma'am thank you ma'am next like see ya see you tomorrow mm-hmm. for a quickie and then fuck and off and then goodbye like, don't yeah. hold my hand and don't then cuddle I'm, me and then I'm making mushroom soup and being by myself yeah <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat and chill yeah like I don't know like it's no, tough. I feel you. It's super tough. I think it just is hard with the whole exclusivity thing. That's difficult yeah. for people these days, especially in something like that. Like, I don't know. I think maybe you have some jealousy to let go of. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I don't know. Maybe. Is it jealousy? I, or is it just the fact that I don't want to catch fucking diseases? I like, think it's jealousy masked by that. 
It also no, just, like, bad. genuinely I, grosses me out, though, thinking about it, right? Yeah. Like, no, yeah, no, I and, know. I know. And I, not only that, I used to but, feel the same way. I just, yeah. But not only that, though, is, like, a lot of the times, like, like, I, like, can truly honestly say, that, like, I do not want to date or have feelings for anybody. But say this other girl that's also banging the guy that you're with has feelings for him. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, somehow it gets out that you're banging, and next thing you know, she's coming down your throat, or like, that's my man, like, yeah. what the hell? Because you don't know what this, like, what the other side of the story is and what the situation is. Mm-hmm. And, and maybe people I fucking am, lie. Like, and people... I am maybe possessive. Like, if I'm going to be banging you, like, I want it to be exclusive. And it's just, but what am I jealous of? Like, I don't want you. Like, I don't want you. No, I know, but you, yeah. But I want but you to okay, want me. But I want you just a, to want my body, yeah. but that's it. Yeah. Like, Possessive is a better word, but maybe a little bit of that. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. It just, it just really, like, honest to God, though, grosses me out. Yeah. No, that's fair. And, like, I'm just very, like, if I'm not your first choice, I don't want to be a choice at all. Mm. Standards, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. No, that's, yeah. I'm number one. Oh, number one. I just, I guess I've been with so many men that just fuck anything that walks that I'm, I'm a little numb to that. I'm like, you know what? If you need to fuck that girl on Monday, I'll still see you Friday. Like, what do I care? Mm. You know, I'm not looking for that exclusivity, I suppose. But I'm not looking for anything, to be clear. No, thank you. I have a, I have a, but that's me though. I'm stupid. I'm but fucking, like my I'm, mind, like my mind, like I'm not, I'm too, I feel like my mind, the way my mind works is I think about like the whole scenario mm. and I'm like, well, if you're banging this chick and if she's like super Indian, then it's going to cause drama. Or if you're banging this chick and she's banging freaking god knows how many other dudes oh, like fair but degrees of separation yeah and i mean like protection is there but protection doesn't protect you from everything mm-hmm. and and i mean man like like what happens scary shit out there yeah what happens you know if you did catch something then you have to like go through like this book you know <laughs> like, and call everybody of, and be and, like yeah. eh, sorry I, I do understand yeah i just I, i'm just so fucking stupid and pathetic that i'm like you know what? When I like this person, I like that person way too much, and I don't care what you do. I'm gonna still be there. <laughs> yeah. But that's my complete. Um, that's my. I'm the opposite of you in that aspect. I'm like, well, I love you, and there's nothing I can do, <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the way it is. And oh, and I'm man. just gonna ride it out and and send you nudes. <laughs> Ah, kill me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not good. Not good. But I know that about myself, so it's easy for me to kind of separate the, you know, complications, I suppose. Yeah. Whatever. I don't care. I just have a one, like, train track mind. I'm just like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's tunnel vision, maybe. Like a horse with blinders on. Like, nay. Hey, ah, it's not happening. I only want, not happening. I only want that carrot. <laughs> And I don't care who else is chewing on it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm gross. Anyways. Mm-mm. Yeah. So I think we learned a lot about you today. That's good. Do you guys think we should start our own podcast of like us like separate? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. Like a. Like a. Girls Daddy. tell all. Yeah. But not not all. Like we'll tell all, but we won't say names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but we be like real shit. Like yeah. real shit that real girls do. Like the shit that we just talked about is some real fucking shit. Yeah. And nobody talks about because they're too scared of what people are gonna think. Fuck that. We don't care. Yeah. Like I feel like you got it. And I talked about this the other day on a live stream, which. I, you have to be who you are on the internet because or else people when they meet you in person are going to be so fucking disappointed. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. why do you want to pretend that you're this oh haha ha, whatever look at how pretty I am and then you meet them and they don't have a nose and dog ears. You know what I mean? <laughs> like where's your filter at Where the bitch? fuck is your filter <laughs> you fucking ugly bitch? And lots of people I sh- I'm sure think that I'm like some kind of like character but like this is what I yeah this is, this is, I am what yeah. I am and I don't care. Like I don't know. Like, I just, the other day, I was like, you know what? I want to have a podcast, and I want to talk about real shit. And, like, real shit that girls are, like, super bashful about. Like, mm-hmm. let's talk about 
sex and, let's and masturbation. Talk about fucking, we let's... should teach masturbation. I feel I've wanted to do that for a while because there's so many girls I know that just don't know how. It's sad to me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and like guy stuff, like guy awkward things dudes do. Yeah, like or like yeah, and like let's talk about like yeah weird shit that guys do is like. The weird shit that you like and the weird shit that, that you, you need to fucking yeah. cut it out. Don't <laughs> ever do that again. <laughs> like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> my clit isn't a place where you practice your fucking DJing, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking be gentle. Jesus Christ, yeah. you're not trying to rub glue off a like surface. Fucking, oh, <sighs> what are you doing, man? Like, fucking, I will kick you in the fucking teeth. I think it could be very educational for men and women. Yeah, so we'll yeah. do it. We'll fucking do and it. And it's like life. Like, real life shit. Fucking uncensored. Uncensored and uncut. Girls gone wild. Gone wild. Girls gone weird. The adventures of Megan and Amanda. And Meghan. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Megan with an H, bitch. Megan you with know an H. she's crazy if she Megan has an H in her name. <laughs> Is that the rule? Because, goddamn, I see now. I that see or now. the fact that I'm from PA and you're from NB. We're from the ghetto, from the fucking ghetto. Drive bys happened in our neighborhood. In the west side. She got the prison, I got the asylum. Mm-hmm. Match made in heaven. <laughs> I can't believe our friendship through everything. Just, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love you. Aww, I love you. So oh. Oh. I, I, I'm leaning and I got it. There we go. I couldn't lean back. It was on a precarious, the stool was gonna. Anyways, okay, that's the end of Thoughtful. Thank you so much, Megan, for, Meghan, for being here. Bitches cruising She's... for a fucking titty punch pretty soon. Hey, at least my nipples won't hurt when you punch me in them. Yeah. That don't hurt. A little extra hardware. I guess it kind of would hurt if you punched me hard enough. Okay, that's the end. Thank you so much. It's been a slice and a half. Home skillet. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.